Dublin, a city reflecting on turbulent times. Few places were hit harder by the economic crisis than the Irish capital. For two long years, the Emerald Isle was down on its luck, as debts, banks and bailouts dominated national headlines. We had an awful tough time between 2008 and 2010 because there was one financial catastrophe was announced after another and every time people were beginning to get their confidence back, we'd be hit again. Thankfully for the last year, we haven't had the same knockbacks. A year after the EU and International Monetary Fund bailout, there's a sense that the worst may be over. In Dublin city centre, retail is picking up. While the odd shop stands empty, acting as a reminder of the crisis, others have been given a new purpose. At the height of the boom, this was a luxury furniture shop. Now it serves as a pop-up art gallery. Irish economist David McWilliams says in the aftermath of the crisis, Dublin's entrepreneurs are seeing new opportunities. As rents come down, it gives people the opportunity to set up businesses they never did, set up ventures they never did in the city. So I think it's fantastic for the city that rents are falling. The much maligned property market is also seeing signs of gradual recovery. Take the suburb of Belmain. This neighborhood was constructed at the height of the boom. When I visited the area in 2009, it was a ghost estate. Half of the houses here were vacant. Since then, Belmain has become a success story. The developer says that this is now 99% occupied, but that's because the original plan to sell these homes is dead. Most people here rent. The property market is adapting to circumstances and it's paying off. David McWilliams is convinced the rest of the city will follow suit. And what happens after big disasters, people dust themselves down and they reinvent themselves. And I have no doubt that Dublin will do exactly this. Dublin is beginning to shake off its hangover from the party that went too far. The next boom may be some way off, but when it comes, Dublin wants to be ready. Jim Bolden, CNN, Dublin.